let's show you how to add the item number parameter to a equipment schedule. So just like, um, or no, so when you open up your equipment schedule um, on the fields tab, how you would create all the other columns, there's this button right here to allow you to create a new parameter. So when you click that, you'll get the new parameter window. And this is how you can add shared parameters. Remember, the item number parameter is a shared parameter. So shared parameters are definitions of parameters that can be either a family parameter or a project parameter. So they're specifically made for sharing data. And basically, since FCSI and our industry uses shared parameters, a manufacturer in Florida can build some Revit families based on this this volts parameter or these other MEP shared parameters and other manufacturers in other parts of the country can also build their families off the same parameters and then when they share them to us because they're all using the same definitions of the same parameters when we use them we can all see all of their data in the same schedule so when we create shared parameters we have to create them from a definition file which is called a shared parameter file and that is how we keep the consistency. Everybody creates parameters from the same file, and that's how the parameters are all the same, and we're able to see the data together. So when you click shared parameter, you press select, and I, since I already had this loaded, um, it's already showing these FCSI shared parameters. You really only have to do this one time, and then it'll always default to this. But if you, if you didn't have it loaded, um, just download that file and, and Go and locate it when you get to the screen and you can load it. So the item number parameter is actually under identity data. So right here and then right there. And then so just click it, press OK. It'll automatically fill out these things. Just, these are default. It is a text parameter. Um, so it'll always come default as a type of parameter, meaning text that's defined in the shared parameter file. And then this group, you can change whenever you want. It just is what over here. These are the groups, identity data, phasing, other. So it's just an organizational thing. Um, we'll put it in identity data because it's kind of where it belongs. So once you do that, you press OK. I've already had this parameter added, so it won't do anything. But that's how you add the item number parameter to your equipment schedule or any schedule.